I want to put them in the fourth order, but they're doing very well in here and still like, you know, can see they're growing actually quite quick. We'll literally just open the door to this. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're going to be heading over to my cousin Adam's house. And uh, there's a bit of a lesson to be learned from this week's video. So let's get straight into it. We'll literally just open the door to this. I have no idea. Happen. What fish is that? What tank is it? No. Holy my trophies tank. What? I didn't even have rocks in there. Yeah, you know how I said everywhere dried? Look how wet that is. It's the only thing that's wet. There's glass everywhere, even in here. I thought I might be able to save some coral sand because that was $60 or so worth of coral sand, but no. And look at this poor This is the top left of the tank. I know because of that label. I had the label off. What the? Why can't I pull that? Oh, that is stuck to the floor. That obviously let go from the side. I haven't even looked on that. That under here, this is my five. Under the five foot rack. More trophies. Look, this lid stayed in one piece. That lid's still sitting on the tank, and so are those two. Can't believe this is still upright. How is that brace still upright? It's only sitting on the glass. It's only siliconed along the back. On one end, it didn't fall in that way. Look, it's silicon is clean off here clean off down the whole side all across the bottom that's the only bit that stayed on that would have been the least pressure because the least depth I guess the rest of it look it's, it's nearly all off clean look and all along the front all that silicon is gone I didn't realise I had a fan on the floor right there plugged in there turned on. It wasn't working obviously when I came in here and discovered this thing. They're all snails. <sighs> Time to clean up. 
pulling it all down. Gone. No. I um, emptied the four tanks that were on here. Took this useless thing out. Gonna get rid of that. When I was given everywhere a good clean. I found out that there's plenty of sand, coral sand and glass under there and I don't have clearance. That's the only rack that I don't have clearance under and I did that because that tank that was on there is nearly two foot high. So I had to put that lower so I have enough clearance under the shelf. It came to bite me now, obviously. So I've had to take everything off so that I can pull this rack out and clean up underneath it because I, I just can't leave it like that. It kills me knowing that there's all that crap under there. So pull it out, clean it up, and use this as an opportunity to lift this shelf up to the same height as all the others so that I'll have clearance. And then I'm going to get, I have three more of these tanks, two foot tanks. So I'm going to put them here to replace the four footer instead. So I'm going to have 12 two footers, 12 three footers, three five footers, three bookshelf tanks. And that is why I had to pull this thing out. Look how much glass. And sand under here. Unbelievable. No way I could sleep at night knowing that this mess was under there. Much better. Not gonna have to worry about it anymore. And we're back in business. All the tanks are back on. Fish are back in. Two spare tanks are now in position, drilled. I need to buy the bulkhead and fittings for there. I use the fittings of the four footer on this one. Also notice I raised the bottom shelf as well. So it has clearance like all the others so I can Get in and clean underneath. They're growing. I want to put them in the forefooter, but they're doing very well in here and still, like, you know, you can see they're growing actually quite quick. Well, quicker than I'm used to. Trophies must grow quicker than Neos. So ultimately, Adam lost his colony of Trophies. I felt really sorry for him very disheartening to see uh, those beautiful fish um, die the way that they did and unfortunately um, Adam put them in a tank that he got for free so as the saying goes if things seem to be good to be true they probably are now obviously there will be some free tanks out there that this wouldn't happen to um, but you have no idea how old those aquariums are um, uh, one of the things you should definitely ask in hindsight now is how old is the aquarium? Now that owner, the previous owner might have gotten that tank of someone else. You've got no idea how old that aquarium is, uh, what silicon's being used to construct the tank, um, and what has that tank gone through? Has it sat in a garage somewhere for a number of years with no water in it? Uh, that might degrade the silicon a little bit more because it's exposed to air for a long period of time. Uh, there could be various factors involved in um, causing this uh, to happen. But here are some tips to look out for with aquariums. Now, any aquarium that's longer than two foot long, so three foot and longer, definitely want to see that it, they have a center brace. Now, Adam's tank did have a center brace, and it was two foot long, and I believe he said it was almost two foot high. This tank here with my bl uh, black Alto Lamprolocus Calvus is four foot long by two foot high by two foot wide, so definitely need a center brace. Also, I would like to see a center brace on the bottom of the tank that goes all the way to the back as well. Now this tank is really reinforced and this is why I'm showing you here. So you can see here, there is glass that's siliconed to this end of the tank that runs all the way across to the center brace and all the way across to the left hand side of the tank. And you can see here that there's glass that goes from the front of the tank all the way to the back. So this tank is really reinforced, it's really strong and it's really heavy. And this is 10 mil glass, 10 mil thick glass. So really, it's really well constructed. And I know that nothing's gonna to happen to this aquarium. 
Now, the ironic and sad thing about this is that when Adam initially got the Trophius colony, he put him in an aquarium exactly like this, a two-foot aquarium. And he says in that video that you just saw that he wants to move them into a four-foot aquarium, which is fair enough because Trophius do need a larger aquarium to grow out. And it's ironic that he ends up having to replace that broken tank again with the aquariums that the Trophius were initially in. So that's really, it's really disheartening. Like I felt so sorry for him uh, when he sent me that video. Uh, it's, it's just a horrible thing to have to come home to and find. Now, uh, the other thing that he doesn't mention in the video is that he last saw his fish room on a Sunday night. He didn't go into the fish room at all on Monday because he was busy with work. And then he went into the fish room on Tuesday night. So it was over 48 hours uh, since uh, we believe the tank uh, exploded basically and that's why everything was dry except for that red towel now uh, obviously that's a very long time and he's very lucky that no other tanks got damaged uh, from the from that explosion from the glass just getting shot across the fish room so he's very lucky that didn't uh, break any other tanks uh, but yeah very disheartening to see uh, felt very sorry for him that it had happened to his prized uh, trophy so a beautiful cute little fish and I know we're doing so well for him again yeah just a free tank that's what sometimes what can happen that is the risk we take but anyway guys there you go a lesson to be learned with that video I hope you found it informative and useful if you did please give me a thumbs up comment and consider subscribing to the channel I really would appreciate it all right guys I'm gonna wrap this video up now thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye